go grab your tissues, because after nine years of being a badass on the track, the sixth generation Chevy Camaro is coming to an end. Despite being the Camaro that won its first NASCAR Cup Series championship in 2020, it didn't do well in sales, plus a lot of other things. But don't cry too much, because the automakers claim that this is not the end of the Camaro story. Be sure to stick till the end, as we'll share with you some of the shocking deets about the upcoming 2024 Chevrolet Camaro, which will definitely put a smile on your face. So don't drift off and stay till the end. Let's get started. We remember it like yesterday. The sixth generation Camaro launch in 2016. The automakers revealed that the car was designed with the focus on being lighter and having better aerodynamics than the fifth gen, while still resembling it with some differences such as more aggressive grille and front end. Despite sharing a platform with the Cadillac ATS and CTS, the Camaro had 70% of its architectural components being unique. The goal of making it like a Corvette with a back seat was achieved, resulting in a more lightweight and powerful car. The sixth generation Camaro was also shorter, narrower, and shorter in height than its predecessor, despite using similar engines and equipment and it weighed about 200 pounds less. During its sixth generation, the Camaro had three special editions introduced. The 50th Anniversary Special Edition and Hot Wheels Edition in 2017, and the Redline Edition in 2018, which became very well known. When it comes to the changes in the new generation Camaro, it started with two new trim levels that took the world by storm, the LT and the SS. But that's just the beginning of the story. What really sets the sixth generation Camaro apart are the three engines available in the 2016 model. First up, we had the LTG Ecotech 2 liter turbocharged straight four which pumped out an impressive 275 horsepower and came standard on the LT trims. Next, we had the LGX 3.6 liter V6, which kicked things up a notch with an output of 356 horsepower and was available as an upgrade on the LT trims. But wait, there's more. The piece de resistance of the sixth generation Camaro was the LT1 6.2 liter V8, which it shares with the C7 Corvette. This bad boy delivers a heart pounding 455 horsepower and comes standard on the SS trims. The features only intensified in future models. The ZL1 was introduced in the 2017 model year, as well as two special editions, the 50th anniversary and Hot Wheels editions, which were available on the 2LT and 2SS trims. All Camaros in 2017 wore 50 badges on the bottom of the steering wheel. The LT4 6.2 liter supercharged V8, which is shared with the Corvette Z06, was featured in the high performance version of the SS Camaro, which made 650 horsepower. The Camaro ZL1 1LE, which became the fastest, most powerful, and best handling Camaro to date, was created in 2018, along with another special edition, the Redline Edition, which was primarily an aesthetic package paired with 20-inch wheels. The Redline Edition was later reintroduced as an upgrade package for the 2020 model and beyond. In 2019, the Camaro received a visual refresh with an edgy front and rear bumper headlight combo that was applied to all models except the ZL1. Additionally, the LE1 package added the four-cylinder turbo as an available engine. Only a few new options were added to the 2020 model year, such as the availability of 10-speed automatic transmission with the V6 engine and the availability of Recaro sport seats and 20-inch wheels as upgrades for the LT trim. The Camaro SS received a minor front-end styling refresh and body-colored bumper, and the Chevy Bowtie was moved to the upper grille an entry-level V8 trim dubbed the Camaro LT1 V8 was also introduced for 2021. In 2021, the ZL1 and SS models were banned in both California and Washington due to new standards for toxic metals and brake pads, which the new Camaros did not meet. 
Plans were soon released by GM to reintroduce the band models for 2022 with revised brake pads. The only new introduction for 2021 was a wild cherry design package and standard Apple and Android wireless connectivity for all trims. As the 2022 model was announced, rumors of the Camaro's demise continued to swirl. A new Redline package and Design Package 3 with some exterior flourishes were introduced for this model year. In order to facilitate sales in Washington and California, a copper-free Brembo brake system became available for the top trims. In the 6th generation Camaro, LT4 blower straps became a popular mod to extract more performance out the LT4 motor. In 2016, Motor Trend Magazine awarded the Car of the Year to the Camaro while the Camaro won the 10 Best Car Awards in 2016 and 2017 from Car and Driver. The Camaro has also made a notable appearance in the Transformers movie franchise with a 6th generation Camaro concept car in the Age of Extinction movie and a preview of the 2018 redesign in the Last Night movie. The Camaro made history in 2020 by winning its first NASCAR Cup Series championship. In 2017, the GT4R Camaro was was developed for GT4 International Racing by Pratt & Miller. The 6th generation ZL1 also shares its motor and supercharger with both the C7 Corvette Z06 and 3rd generation Cadillac CTS-V. But despite all these accolades and wins, the 6th generation Camaro is coming to an end in 2024. But it's not exactly a shocker considering how low the sales were, plus some other obvious problems. For example, the 6th generation Camaro was introduced to the market in 2016 with a higher starting price than its predecessor. This, coupled with the fact that the design was different enough from the 5th generation model, left potential buyers feeling shortchanged. The 2019 model year refresh attempted to remedy this with updated styling, but this effort backfired when negative reactions caused Chevy to introduce a concept fascia design for the 2018 SEMA show. Despite the facelift to the facelift, the Camaro failed to achieve the desired level of recognition. One issue that plugged the 6th generation Camaro was its poor outward visibility, making it harder to see than its rival, the Mustang. While blind spot detection was standard on select trims, some drivers found the car required a heightened sense of awareness. Another area where the Camaro fell short was its interior quality which was often criticized for feeling cheap and cramped. Despite its higher cost, the Camaro failed to deliver the superior cabin expected from a car in its class. The Camaro's performance and handling were among its strengths. In the 2018 Camaro ZL1 1LE even ran an impressive 7 minute and 16 second lap at the Nürburgring. However, Moving away from its muscle car roots and being referred to as a sports coupe may have hurt the nameplate sales. Chevy already had a bona fide sports car in the Corvette, and having two sports cars in the family may not have been a winning formula. Ultimately, the Camaro's lack of success may be due to its failure to appeal to a wider audience beyond enthusiasts. While it can be praised for its affordable performance, it simply did not deliver for anyone else. Despite its shortcomings, the Camaro had made appearances in movies such as Free Guy, but it may be too late for the muscle car to make a significant impact on the market. In the end, it appears that the Camaro failed to meet the expectations of both consumers and the accounting department. So, on 22nd March 2023, General Motors announced that it will stop making the current generation early next year. But here's something to be excited about. According to Scott Bell, Vice President of Chevrolet, while we're not announcing an immediate successor today, rest assured this is not the end of the Camaro story. So the exciting news for all Camaro fans is that General Motors has announced that they will be releasing a collector's edition package for the 2024 Camaro RS and SS, as well as a limited number of high-performance ZL1 Camaros. This highly anticipated package is bound to give Camaro lovers something to be ecstatic about. The collector's edition cars are going to be a nod to the iconic first generation Camaro from the 1960s. 
complete with a reference to its GM codename Panther. The details of this package are still under wraps, but one thing is for sure, it's going to be a real head turner. GM spokesperson Trevin Tompkins added that the company has reached an agreement with auto racing sanctioning bodies, ensuring that the sixth generation Camaro can continue racing. Not only that, but GM will also be able to make parts for the Camaro, so you can be sure that it will stay on the racetrack for years to come. But that's not all. The Camaro will remain eligible for NASCAR Cup and NASCAR Xfinity Series races, thanks to the Generation 6 Camaro being in production when GM originally got permission to race. So you can look forward to seeing the Camaro dominate the track for years to come. All in all, the 2024 Camaro RS and SS Collector's Edition package is going to be something special. It's sure to be a hit with Camaro enthusiasts who have been waiting for something new and exciting. So keep an eye out for more details about this amazing package and get ready to hit the road in style with your very own Collector's Edition Camaro in 2024. Thanks for watching.